Howdy ho guys and girls, welcome back to the Den of Tools. We got your October Masterclass for Coupon Savings over at Harbor Freight. Now, why do I call it Masterclass? Well, we've been doing this for over seven years. We're going to help you find the diamond in the roughs, the great deals, the okay deals, and, you know, the help you avoid some of the potholes along the way, because not everything at Harbor Freight is as good as it may look. All right, now let's just start off with the Merlin stuff. Now, the Merlin is the newer line that's above the cent uh, Central Pneumatics, I think is what they call it, Central Pneumatics. Avoid, in, in most cases, all the central pneumatic stuff if you can. Case in point, Merlin Aluminum High Flow Coupler Set, four piece for seven bucks, 36% off. That's a darn fine deal. Next up, we've got this one, which is the Merlin Pistol Grip Inflator Gauge Set. I love these kind of, uh, of inflators, the, the digital inflators. You get it right in there, you, you, you get exactly what you want. It's right there in front, nice, easy to read. It's a good tool. At 16% though off, it's not a it's not a buy it now kind of price. It's a eh, if I if I really need it right now and it doesn't hurt so bad kind of price. If you can wait, I would wait. There will be better deals on this. All right, let's keep going. We got the Central Pneumatics. This is the three eighths inch hose. Now Central Pneumatics in this case is going to be a step down. And in most cases, I say avoid it and go for the Merlin if you can. But it's going to be more expensive, and that's on your budget. Sixty four bucks, sixty three ninety nine. Call it what it is. You know, 20% uh, off, that's a pretty good deal. That's a solid deal. That's as good as any of the percentage off coupons you're going to get on this. Every once in a while, you might find a slightly better deal on this. But if you've been waiting for one of these, get yourself, guys and gals, get yourself a hose reel. Uh, you know, if you can afford the, Mer afford the Merlin ones, then do that. But at the very least, get this. It's a solid hose reel. It'll get the job done in most, you know, in most home shops. And it gets those hoses off the ground, no tripping hazards. The hoses don't get damaged because you step on them, roll stuff over it. It makes it nice and neat, you know, get rid of the clutter. All right, next up, we got the Fortress Pancake Air Compressor. And again, Remember, uh, when it, pancake air compressors, they're, they're, some people like them, some people don't like them. This one's specifically designed for running as a nailer, okay, for running nailers, two of them. You run two good, decent-sized nailers off this thing for 130 bucks. If you've got some big projects and you could do a lot of air, air tool, air nailer kind of stuff, this is a good option to go with. For $130, not bad. On top of that, Harbor Freight's got a new thing they got going. We're going to talk more about the coupon later, but you can see it right there. Chief deal. You get a free chief air tool with this, and we're going to cover all that later. It, at $30 off, it's an okay deal. You tag in a $30, $40, $50 dollar chief air tool, that makes it a pretty solid deal, if you ask me. All right, and McGraw 20-gallon 20 air, 20 air compressor. I know the folks at Harbor Freight hate, hate my new stance on this. fact of the matter is, unless you're serious, and even if you are, it, basically, if you're serious about running air tools in your shop, get a more robust air compressor. If you're not so serious, get a smaller air compressor. The, I'm sorry, that 10 to 20 gallon kind of thing, it just doesn't really scratch that itch anymore because the problem is power tools, you know, on cordless power tools have taken over so much of what air compressors used to do. And for most people, that 20 gallon, it's just, it's not going to really rock the boat, you know? Uh, let's keep going. We got the Fortress 4 gallon here. Again, this is going to be 80 dBA, which is nice. It's not super quiet, but it's not going to be bleeding from the ears kind of stuff. $10 off, though, not much of a coupon. Uh, again, this is, I'm going to look at this as a nailer kind of solution. Uh, not, not much else you really want to do with this thing. And at $10 off, I mean, you do get the free air tool. But again, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to say it's a skip it for me. All right, now this is definitely one. Now, somebody asked me about this. Like, hey, you're talking about the, the, the portable air inflators. I've done a couple of videos on them recently. How about this? Nice, cheap one, $7. That's 30% off. No, just, I thought everyone knew this was a, I'm sorry for Harbor Freight, you know, I love you, but this thing's a hunk of junk that needs to go away. It, this part of the old school Harbor Freight just needs, set it out to pasture. It needs to get retired. I don't know why anybody would recommend this. It, it's a, it, some of them work. It's, it's the old school Harbor Freight. Some work great. You're like, hey, I bought one. It's lasted 10 years, never had a problem. 20 other people like it plugged it in once and it caught on fire and burned down my house. They, they don't do that, but they're just, they're not reliable. And, and, and for a, an inflator like this, nine times out of 10, somebody's going to take this and throw it in their car. They're like, Hey, if I get a flat, I got, no, don't, don't rely on this thing. All right, let's keep going. This is something you can rely on. Pittsburgh 12 ton hydraulic bottle jack, solid bottle jack, 33% off 30 bucks. That's a buy it now kind of price on that one there. All right, let's keep going here. We got the Zurich. We got a couple ODB2 readers. This is a good basic one. You can get more basic than this, but if you want a little bit of extra features for 75 bucks, this is a good deal. If you really want to step up, 
we got the ZR13S. Now, again, these are a step down from some of the stuff I've shown you. The bigger ones, the bigger screens, bi-directional kind of stuff. This is definitely weekend warrior DIY kind of stuff. Just really want to see what's going on. Nice with this one is it can handle ABS, SRS. It's got the fix assist. You can take a look at all of that stuff for 140 bucks. Might be something you might want to check out. But if, honestly, though, I kind of feel if you're going to this level, you might want to step up to the next level at that point. All right, let's talk about, oh, <laughs> off screen somehow. Daytona 1,300-pound capacity self-loading wheel positioners. Now, Harbor Freight has these down here. These are your basic ones. If you're only doing a little bit here, a little bit there, that we can work and stuff, you should be fine with those, okay? Or, or even the Pittsburgh ones, uh, you can probably get away with if it's not too big uh, a vehicle. Uh, but but these things, these things are, this is for the serious guy who's doing restoration jobs. They're rotating this stuff around the shop. They're, they're switching vehicles in and out. This one you got to be serious about because it's $110, all right, for one. And you're going to need four of them, okay? Is it a good deal? Darn fine deal. I, if you're looking for one of these, definitely recommend it. I'm just saying if you're just a weekend warrior kind of guy or, or gal, uh, go with uh, either the Pittsburgh or the Daytona 2500s. It's gonna, you're going to get more bang for the buck out of this, all right? Let's keep going. The Daytona 1.5 ton professional racing series. This is a top fueler here, okay? We're, we're talking Big Daddy Don Garlitz for you older folks know what I'm talking about. We're racing jacks here. All right, we have the Rapid Pump 1.5 ton. This is a solid aluminum racing jack, okay? And when they say racing jacks, you know, they're talking about the jacks that people would take, like, to weekend races and stuff. And they want something lightweight. They can, you know, jump in the pits. and they can. But for even for home use, you know, trust me, I've got the big old Daytona kind of thing. Thing weighs over a hundred pounds. It's, it's kind of, and uh, it, you don't want to be lugging that thing around. Something like this is going to be a lot easier. And if you got a smaller vehicle, even up to like minivan size, this can probably do everything you need for hundred and ten dollars, twenty five percent off. Considering that floor jacks usually are excluded by most of the percent off coupons, that's a jump on it kind of price. If you've been looking for one of these, and you got to love the colors on that, the green and black. Now let's talk. We got talking about the Daytona. This is my favorite, my personal favorite, Harbor Freight. Well, my, my favorite kind of, I, I kind of share these now these days. Uh, and we're going to talk about both of them here. We got the Daytona 3-ton, long reach, low profile with the rapid pump. Now, one of the things a lot of people don't, they miss on this one. On the back of it here, you see that little phalange hanging off the back there? What that is, is that's a little rapid quick pump there. So when you slide it under, the, under your vehicle, you give that thing a couple stomps, and that gets it up to the vehicle. All right? So you don't have to do any of the jacks. It, it does more with less. Gets it right up there. Then you go to use the, the the lever, the handle on that thing, and you get it up off the ground. Makes it great. And the other thing is because it's low profile, you can use it on cars. You can use it on other small vehicles and stuff. But that low profile long reach also gives it more leverage, which gets it up higher, which is great for those of us driving the bigger trucks and stuff like that. I use this on my one-ton Ram with the Cummins. Not a problem. 100, 200 bucks on this, 40 bucks off. That that's a solid price on that. And you know what? It's got it in pumpkin spice orange just in time for the holidays. Now, this is my other love over at Harbor Freight, and you've seen it before, the Badlands three ton off-road jack. And I'm gonna tell you, I don't do a ton of off-roading. I mean, I go off pavement though all the time. And around here in Montana, it's dirt, dirt, and more dirt. Even when I go down to Vegas, I was just in Vegas visiting my son. We go out, we do a bonfire, we do some shooting, you know, we have some fun out there in the desert. Again, it, we're not really like four-wheeling it per se. We're not like, you know, going crazy. But even still, if you get stuck off-road or even just outside my shop is, is sand and stuff and it's wet out there today, this is what you really need. And here's the, here's what a lot of people miss. They look at it and they go, well, the, the, the wheels on this thing look sure skinny here. Let me get you a picture of it here. The, uh, sorry, I'm, sorry about the voice. I'm recovering from COVID again. Uh, anyway. So the wheels, they're like, hey, it looks kind of skinny. Well, that's kind of the point here. Now, what happens is you get some weight on this thing, especially if the ground's kind of soft, and that's what you always worry about with a jack, right? Well, those wheels sink down in, and it bottoms out the jack. The jack has got a skid plate all the way across the bottom there. And so it gets flat on that, and the wheels now lock it into place so there's no wiggle or anything else going on. That's the secret genius behind this style of jack. And as you saw, it's got the extension everything else. It can get up there no, um, no matter about how high you're looking for. $300, bucks, 20 dollars off. Not a huge percentage off, okay? And there have been some other deals, but I'll tell you what, that's a pretty decent price, honestly. If you, and if you've been looking for one of these, jump all over it. You will not be disappointed. All right, let's talk about toe straps here. Not toe straps, I'm sorry, ratcheting tie-down straps. Hallmaster, I haven't. I know I owe you a video. They're, they've done a whole rehaul, revamp, haul, <laughs> anyway. 
it's COVID brain, um, a whole revamp of all the Hallmaster straps, all right? They are not like they used to be. You got to give them a second look. They are top notch. I really like them. They did send me a whole bunch of them. I got them. I keep them in one of those Voyager bags. Anytime I travel stuff, they go in the back of the truck or we tow, they go on the trailer. I always have them with me. You can never have, you know, that's, that's a trick question. How many straps do you need? Uh, one more than you got. Uh, 12 bucks on this, 25% off. That's a solid deal. That's a buy it now kind of price. All right, Home Master, if you have a small utility trailer and you don't have one of these, you are just, you're, you're just, not only are you missing out, you're making life painful for you. You don't have, you know, <laughs> you don't have to deal with that kind of pain, all right? You can get past it. Get, get with 30, was it 28, 27, 99, 28 bucks, call it what it is, 20% off. That's a solid price on this. One of our first videos, one of the, like the, well, the first year or so on this channel, you can go back and see I installed the previous version of this. Still have it on my trailer to this day. Makes life so much easier. I would not own a utility trailer without a jack or a yeah a swingway jack like this on it. All right, let's keep going. Viking, great little maintainer. Now I I'm I usually use was it battery tender or something like that. I've used them for years. Viking has really stepped up from the old Centec kind of stuff. I wouldn't I wouldn't hesitate to buy this thing. Uh, it, it, especially at 30 bucks. In fact, I might have a need for one. I might go and grab that uh, here, here shortly. All right. Sorry, just in the old hat. I got it. As you see, we got the felt on rather than the straw hat because it's cold now. <laughs> That's when you got to switch. You know, we're in the fall. I got to got to wear the appropriate hat for the season. But I think I need to take this in and get steamed. It's it, it's a little tight compared to the old one. They're they're both Cody James. They're both the same size. I wear a was it a seven and three eighths. Let me check this one out. Make sure I'm not smoking something. Seven and three eighths, but this one feels real tight compared to the other one here. Anyway, let's keep going here. We got chains, chains. Got to have some chains, all right? You should have chains in your shop. You should have them, you know, maybe when you when you, you travel. Having a good set of chains, there's always a, a use for them. 35 bucks, 12% off though. Not a great deal. I might hold off on that. I might wait for one of those percentage off coupons. Here we go. Cover Pro Canopy. This thing is completely unknown to me. I don't use canopies. I live everywhere I am. Is, it's way too windy for the stuff like this. It would, I'd end up in Oz. But people tell me they're good. Hallmaster 1200-pound loading capacity ramp. The Harbor Freight's got some really solid ramps. And if you're doing some off-road kind of stuff, don't be ridiculous and try to do all the kind of stunt loading as a... You, unless you're trying to end up on TikTok in one of those fails videos, I, I've watched my own share. Uh, don't want to be in one though. At 20 bucks off, not a bad deal though. Again though, not a huge percentage. You might want to wait for one of the percentage off coupons here. All right, we got the Badland ZXR 9500 pound winch with wire rope, 40 bucks off. Again, uh, this is a, this is a decent price. It's not. You know, Harbor Freight really has three kind of sale prices. It has the, well, it's on sale price. It has the, it's an okay price. And it has the, yes, this is the price you want to buy it at. This is the, well, it's okay kind of price. So you're coming at 300 bucks. If you've been looking for one, they're solid winches. They really are. All right, let's keep going here. We got the Predator. Now I'm, inclu I'm including these because A, they're on sale. And B, recently I had a, a viewer ask me, he's like, I bought one of the, 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 uh, the semi, uh, semi trash pumps and, 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 and when I read it, it says I can't use it for semi-trash. And he's like, what do I do? And they want to charge me a restocking fee. So fair warning, if you buy any of the pumps or anything that you can put fluid and stuff into, uh, there's usually a restocking fee. If you're concerned, ask the cashier. They're supposed to tell you when you buy it, by the way. But you know what? They're young and things get busy. Just, just make sure you ask if you have any questions. But that said, these definitely do have a restocking fee. But... I went through and I reread the, the, the manual with him, and it was just some confusion. We cleared it up. Uh, it, this is a clear water pump, right? Now, for a pump like this, you want clear water. Like, you can see through the water, not murky or anything else. This is, like, for draining pools and stuff like that, okay? Uh, so, if you've got anything, that, and, and 30 bucks off, it's not a bad price on that, considering it's a Predator engine on it, and the Predator engines are rock solid and, uh, and usually excluded from everything, you know? Now, this is what we're talking about, 3-inch, 212 cc with a semi trash now semi trash it's not tr trash people get a little aggressive i can throw it in anything no the thing it says and then what you got confused with in, in the manual is it says make sure you, you're supposed to put a filter on the end of, of the intake hose uh so when you put it in the water whatever you're, you're getting and this you're looking at like like dark water muddy kind of water but not thick mud all right like water that's not clear but not like soup like you know potato soup kind of thick 
So you throw it in there and you, and you don't want it to sink down into the mud and the silt. So you want it to float above and kind of skim the water off the top. So you get some rocks, build some rocks, build something to get it off the bottom so the filter isn't sucking into the mud on the bottom. That's why it's semi-trash and not just complete trash water kind of pump. Good, good luck buying one of those. Those are expensive. 340 bucks on this one, $60 off. Again, if you need a pump, that's a solid pump. All right, Quinn. I, I'm geeking out over Quinn lately. Quinn, honestly, in a lot of cases, has been a, a brand that I've overlooked at Harbor Freight because it just, it was like, it's not enough to be Icon, and it's not cheap enough to be take the place of uh, of uh, the the Pittsburgh stuff. But you know what? Quinn is they're secretly building out Quinn. If you're not paying attention, you're going to miss out on this because what we're getting is a whole bunch of no skip kind of stuff. They're really coming after people like Cobalt and Tecton and, and uh, what used to be Craftsman. That whole kind of mid range. And they're coming pretty strong with it. This is a good solid quarter inch set here, 10 piece, SAE and metric. And if you don't believe me, let's go over the metric. I haven't looked at it yet. We're going to look at metric and you're going to get, look at this. You got, let's pop it up here. Five, six, seven, eight. Where do we go? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. No skips. All right. That's, you got to take a look at Quinn. We're going to have some more Quinn here coming up. I got to tell you. Quinn might become quickly the go-to for the, the prosumer grade kind of folks over at Harbor Freight and to steal a little thunder away from Icon. All right, here we got, speaking of Icon, 3 8 inch drive metric professional semi-deep socket set, 12 piece here, 11% off. Eh, it's a meh kind of deal. It, it, it's like, hey, if I need to buy this, oh, at least it's on sale, all right? That's where it's at. At 40 bucks, it's a nice socket set. But, you know, when they do the percentage off, Icon's almost never excluded. So you can usually get 20% off on those. All right, the Icon Precision Snap Ring Pliers. The, the first edition of these, when they came out, they were kind of, they weren't the best. And they quickly pulled them back, revamped them. If you've heard anything negative about them, they fixed that right after they came out. They're solid. They're a solid set. And at 60 bucks. Rather than having to get a set where you have to change the little thing, this is a great set, all right? 60 bucks. I would not, I, I, I keep saying I'm going to pick up this set. And, and I have the Quinn one where you have to keep changing the little nibs and stuff. And, of course, I've lost most of the nibs that go in it. So I'm going to be picking this one up here shortly. 20% off, solid deal. You don't have to wait for the coupon on that one. This is the, this is the buy it now price on that. All right, let's keep going. Icon three-quarter inch. That's not a three-eighths. That's three quarter. This is the big boy league. Above three eighths, half, three quarter. This is you're doing big stuff here. Breaker bar. Now you can can you put a reducer on it and run half inch? Sure you can. I'm not gonna yell at you if you do. Uh, is it, what else is it good for? Well, you know, home defense, raccoon stuff like that. Anyway, seventy nine ninety nine. This is a big solid breaker bar. If you're a farm and ranch kind of person, that's gonna be a go to for you. Everyone else needs to have this. Every single one of you should have this in your shop there's no one in, there's no excuse there's literally no excuse this thing runs with the big boys it'll 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 keep pace with snap on and mac and matco and all the tool trucks is it as good no no is it within spitting distance yeah is it like free practically compared to the price of the tool trucks yeah i i can't tell you how many pros i know who keep this in the, in their toolbox for 17 dollars lifetime warranty this thing's an absolute beast, all right? And it's got the nice soft grip handle. All right, Pittsburgh Flex Head Ratcheting Combination Set for $5, 33% off. That's a fantastic deal. Personally, I'd skip this set. It's, there's just not enough there. And up next, we got the Hercules Magnetic Tape Measure with Double Hook. <laughs> anyway, uh, Double Hook, I think it's got the hook on the, on the front that goes up and goes down. Uh, for $15, this is a solid tape measure. It's a great little tape measure. 16% off is an okay price. It's not bad. Um, is it a right home kind of price? No, but for $15, it's a solid tape measure. 25 foot, ultra wide. It's got good readability. Uh, it seems like a solid tape measure to me. I, I wouldn't be bad. I'm, I admit I'm partial to Lufkin, but 
Uh, if I needed a tape measure, I, I'd be happy to pick this one up in a, you know, in a second. Uh, the Braun 1800 Lumen LED Detachable Work Lights. A, meets my requirements for being detachable, makes my requirements for being LED. We'll never do halogen again. Don't do halogen, folks. 30 bucks off. Oh, that's what, like 20 some, 22, 22 percent off? I don't know. Anyway, it's a, it's a solid price. It, it is, in fact... I don't know if it's quite, it's definitely, I, it's a price if I'm looking for lights, I wouldn't hesitate to pick these up. These are the good solid lights. I've got some work lights already, uh, but if I needed some, I, I I mean, I love the form factor. I love the, the detachable. Uh, the 100 bucks, yeah, I, I get that set. All right, let's keep going. We got the Vanguard. Now, this one, don't don't miss out on this. This is a 12 by 3. All right, so it's 12 gauge cord, three, three, uh, three prong on it, 70 bucks. It's 100 foot, okay? That's a decent. That's a decent gauge. It's not going to be heavy duty kind of stuff. Now I'm going to show you here. Harbor Freight's going to tell you here, and they're going to say uh, for you know at a hundred foot. Where's I can't see it here. Here we go. Uh, what you what you can do with a twelve gauge? All right, you can do all this light duty kind of stuff. But the problem what they don't tell you here is the longer you go, you're basically subtracting gauges on. You need you need a ten gauge if you're going a hundred foot. Uh, if you're going to try to run anything substantial, what you're going to run with this is you're going to run lights and, and light duty kind of power stuff, sanders, uh, you know, maybe a power drill, um, maybe a, a, cord, or a corded chainsaw kind of stuff. You're not going to run high torque kind of stuff. Don't run an air compressor. Don't run a miter saw. Uh, and again, it, it's more lighter duty kind of stuff, but it's a, it's a solid, uh, you know, cord for the price. Let's keep going here. The Braun, the 750 lumen ultra compact magnetic light. This is a solid work light. 20% off, $24. That, that's a deal that I, I would take. I don't know. But yeah, I, I think it's a good deal. All right, let's keep going here. And, and they got them in different colors too. Look at it. You, you get blue and green and, and red. They have black. I think, oh, the black one I think is more expensive. Uh, I think it's a d different version. Anyway, Luminar Outdoor. Am I pronouncing that right? I don't care. Luminar Outdoor Light here, 20% off, 4 bucks. Honestly, these things are, are solid little lights. And, and they talk about camping here. This is not a bad thing to keep around the house in case of a blackout if, if you're not like us and have, you know, generators and stuff like that. Why don't you have a generator? You should have a generator anyway. Or at least a, a power station. But if you don't, actually, they're, they're not bad to keep around for emergencies. They put good area light. They're super bright. Again, don't look at them. You will see stars. They're that kind of bright. All right, we got the Union Safe Company here. This is the 10 unit because I can't say the G word on on YouTube here. $120 off coupon. That's a solid coupon. This is this is not a big kind of thing. And I know there's always going to be, you know, Captain Will Actually's capes flying in the wind. Well, actually, this isn't our safe. It's a should have, and we, we don't care. We all know. Everybody knows. Nobody cares. Don't be that person. All right. Nobody likes that person. Don't be that person. Okay, this, it's a safe. It, you can, people who like pull out dick shares and go, well, it actually, oh my gosh, that's just so irritating. Um, anyway, it'll lock things up. Is it going to, is it going to stop the lock picking lawyer? Probably not. But is the lock picking lawyer going to break into your house? Also, probably not. I think he's doing okay. All right. So we're not going to worry about that. Then moving on, three hundred twenty dollars. You just need some locks. What this is going to do? This is going to keep prying fingers out. What you're going to do when you get this is you're going to anchor it. You're going to drive it into the wall. You're driving to the floor. Put some and have to have something at least two sides. So not just up against the wall, but up against an adjacent wall as well. If you can do three sides, like in a small closet, oh, you are winner winner chicken dinner right there. All right, 330 bucks, not a bad price. You used to be able to get these stuff like this cheaper, and my knees didn't used to hurt either. So we're we're both not doing so great. Anyway, great price. I know I'm getting I'm getting a little cynical in my old age here. Uh, anyway, 330 bucks. It's a solid price on that. I would buy it if you're looking for something that kind of size. Let's keep going. We've got this one, the 24 one. Now I've got a whole video on this on my other channel, which is the Bears Den. You can go over there, uh, search by most popular. It's the most popular video. I compared it to another one that we already had. Essentially, it looks like it came out of the same factory. And I would recommend the other one, better fit and finish. Everything else, same price. Other than they don't make it anymore because they weren't making any money on it. Uh, union, right? As such, union's the way to go here. Five hundred twenty-nine dollars. That's about thirty bucks more than it cost three years ago. Whenever they did that video, it was a while ago. Anyway, that's seventy dollars off. That's a solid buy it now kind of price on that. I would definitely pick one of those. They're nice. You know what? And especially like so in our house, we have uh, it's an old house, and we it's wood floors. 
above a basement. I used to have a giant 48 wide body, blah, blah, a whole nine, no, 64. Uh, anyway, I couldn't put that in my house. It would go straight through the floor, but I can take two of these, put them in two different locations and have the same kind of storage. And, and actually now it's a his and hers because my wife took my other one. Anyway, let's keep going here. And I don't cry about that. Now, <laughs> at least I get one to myself, right? I should be happy. Uh, let's uh, central machinery, propylene folding sawhorse, propylene. It's plastic. Uh, 32 inch, 500 pound capacity. I don't use, I do. I have a, a set of these. Sure do. I think they're the older ones. Uh, but, uh, do I use them very often? No. What I do is I keep them as my secondary kind of stuff. If my regular, what I'm doing with my regular setup, uh, if it's too much for that and I got some overhang kind of stuff and I need some secondary sawhorses, that's when these come out. $14, 17% off. It's a, it's a good price. It's not, it's not an amazing price. It's a good price. All right, we got the Gerson 90, P95 maintenance, <laughs> P95, uh, dual cartridge respirator medium. Uh, if you're doing anything, if you're if you're sanding, if you're spraying, there's so much stuff where you should be using a respirator, and a lot of us don't. I'm guilty as charged, and I have this respirator. I have it. I think it's over there, uh, and, and I should definitely be using it more often. Uh, apparently, when I went out the other day in Vegas, I should have been using it <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm <gonna> get myself. <laughs> See, that's what I do to myself. Anyway, let's keep going. Foldable earmuffs. Again, hearing protection. Your, your ears, like I say about your eyes, they don't grow back either. Six bucks. Get some good ear, hearing protection. This may not be your main hearing protection, but maybe some stuff to keep around the shop or keep in the bag that goes to the range for those you know times when you know the Cubs or somebody else comes with you and and you got to have some extra stuff lying around. This is not bad at six bucks. All right, let's keep going. The Hardy Gloves. I can't say enough about the Hardy Gloves. I've become a complete convert on the gloves. I used Mechanics Gloves for years. The Hardy stuff, it, at all, every time I, I grab a pair, I'm like, wow, these are actually pretty decent. For 4 bucks. pigskin leather work gloves, 33% off. Yeah, that's a buy it now price. Franklin uh, Moving Blanket here, 21% off. That's a solid one for a moving blanket there. $15, the two-step stool there, 20 bucks. I, I like a little bit. I'm a bigger. I'm a bigger bear, as they say. So I, I like something a little bit more robust. But for lighter duty kind of stuff around the kitchen, maybe thirty three percent off. That's not a bad deal. We got the Franklin Wood Solid. Was that hard? I can't talk. <laughs> solid deck hardwood dolly, twenty five bucks on that. Ten percent off. Man, it, it's all right. It's not my favorite thing, honestly. I have seen people use this like they build like a cabinet on top of it, so they have it like built in dolly kind of thing, even for stuff around the shop. Uh, for me, if I want a dolly, I'm, I'm going something more like this. One of these, the carpeted ones. Uh, I don't know. Maybe if you use this one and you think this is a better choice, what am I missing out? What's the good use for it? Still 10% off. Not that great a deal. Let's talk about the, the, the Franklin aluminum work platform. Here's who needs this. Everyone like me, who's got one of the bigger trucks, those bigger trucks, they're impossible to work on. I'm six two ish and, uh, you know, getting old, it happens. And, Getting up and getting over, it's a pain in the you-know-what. Get one of these, gives you some area to move side to side, gets you up in, in a nice kind of work area. It's great for the, the cubs to help me work on stuff. Okay, so the smaller one just climbs right up on the cattle guard and gets in there and he's show off. Uh, 45 bucks, 10% off. Not the best price, but if you're looking to pick one up, I'd grab it. The Bauer is back. Now, if you didn't know, they pulled the old one. There was some issue about... The with like the hand, something getting hot when in it, and you know, and it was one of the cases of you know, in an abundance of caution, we've recalled it 85 bucks. Uh, it was a good performer, I'm guessing they fixed it 3,000 to 6,000. Now, I've got I've got that. I've, there, I've got one that does about that. Maybe I'll have to pick this one up and compare it because it's getting towards that time of season where I might need to heat it uh, just to take the chill off. When I come into the shop first thing in the day, I like to run uh, when it gets cold, good and cold. I like to run one of these just to, to set the heat level and then I can run my electric heaters to kind of maintain. Uh, anyway, $85. I wouldn't hesitate to buy that one. All right. We've got the Greenwood Propane Torch with uh, Push Igniter. This thing is fantastic. Uh, it, it, it does what it says it's going to do. It puts out some flame. It burns things. If that's what you needed to do, it's going to do it at $35. It's got the electric start on it. So you're not having to, you know, stick a lighter or something up there, a little scratch lighter kind of thing, 35 bucks. Uh, I, I'd go with it. Um, the, is, is that a sale price? It says it's a sale price. It was listed as one of the sales. It doesn't seem like a sale price though. Uh, 
Portland 9 amp 14 inch electric chainsaw, 40 bucks. That's an all right price. 20% off. I mean, it, that's that's on par with the other coupons. If you're looking for an electric chainsaw, you know, and, and you're really, really on a budget, that might be the way to go. But if you really want something decent, I would go with this this Bauer right here. Look at, you're looking at $75. It's a step up. I'm not saying it's not a step up, but it's a lot more robust, a lot solid, or solid, more solid. Does that work? Uh, wait for it to go on sale. Get a good deal on it. Again, it's that time of year, though. You might be looking for something right now. Uh, we got the Greenwood two gallon uh, garden sprayer here for 12 bucks, 20% off. It's an okay sprayer. It's a good price. We got the tarps. Definitely love the black and silver tarps. They're solid. $55 on that. The silver tarps, those are my go to best bang for the buck tarps. 16% off. That's an okay price. It's not the best price. The HFT Blue All Weather. These are the ones that used to get free and stuff. Well, actually, I don't think they were this this size. I think they were a little bit smaller than this. But six, we got eight foot six by eleven foot four. The good solid one. Again, don't use these in in a high stress environment like their wind or anyway. The, these are just your basic going to keep the water off kind of thing for six dollars. There also good as a, a, a drop cloth kind of stuff. All right, seven point Bauer seven point five amp half inch low speed spade mix this is not a drill all right this is a mixer okay this is for mixing mud and that kind of stuff small small batch cement kind of things nothing super big heavy duty just something that needs a, a good amount of torque to it 50 bucks if you need it this is the one to get 23 percent off that's a great deal now if you're actually want something around the shop again i always say everyone needs one of these i've got mine sitting right over there now, mine, mine's probably older than most of you folks, but that's the thing is you get these things, they last a good long time. 7.5 amp, variable speed hammer drill. This is an essential, an essential. At 30 bucks, you should have one of these in your shop, all right? 10, in, 10 amp variable speed recip saw corded. This is a good homeowner grade uh, recip saw. I have this saw. I used it a bunch. Um, it, it, if you can afford to get the battery ones, get the brushless. Don't get the brushed ones. It's kind of in between. It's kind of a waste. 40 bucks on this. That's a solid price on, on a recip saw. All right, let's see here. Now we've got the Bauer 50-inch abrasive cutoff saw. 50 bucks off. If you're looking for a cutoff saw, this is a darn fine deal, all right? There's no two ways about it. All right, we got the Warrior Blade Set. Meh. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. If you need some trash blades, eh. Uh, again, Bauer, 400-pound molemire saw. Hold on. <coughs> It's time for another cough drop. I know, I know. You're like, this is so professional. I can't believe I'm watching this. Neither can I. <coughs> mm, COVID. Now, I'm going to need you to stay at least six feet back from the monitor. No, I, I I, don't. I'm at the trail edge. I, my wife tested me. And she always likes to. She's very into the whole medical stuff and, and nerdy about it so she always likes to know what's going on i've tested negative now two days in a row so i'm technically not contagious <coughs> i'm just no fun to be around anyway 100 bucks on this miter saw stand this is a go-to diy miter saw stand again i'm gonna say it if you don't need uh, no let me just worry this way if you don't need a miter saw stand like this don't get this. Either build one or build a bench or get one of the, 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 the ones that roll around the shop. Those legs splay way out, all right? And they take up a ton of room in your shop. If you've got the space, good for you. All right. Uh, Bauer hook and loop. Uh, good, solid stuff. I've used it. I uh, haven't really done a comparison like versus some of the Diablo stuff I have. Maybe I should. $2, though, uh, for five five inch hundred five pack That's all right. Uh, this is again, another one of these, you should have it in your shop. I've got now the Harbor Freight sent me the cordless. I don't know if you can see it over here. I got the, I haven't even shut up. I got the cordless, uh, whatchamacallit, the bandsaw. I can talk. And, but, uh, now I've got the Bauer locked up in my chop saw set up there from the Hercules chop saw set system. Uh, which is fantastic, but I use that, 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 uh, in fact, I don't even have the Bauer. I have the old, uh, Chicago electric version and it's worked for years, years and years. And I've put that thing through all sorts of abuse and it still works at 80 bucks. This is, this is retro pricing folks. I, I didn't get mine for 80 bucks. I think I got mine for like 90 bucks and I thought I got a steal on it. This is $10 less than that. This is some retro throwback pricing. I wonder if someone did a typo on this. This is a fantastic price. This might be the best deal of, of the whole uh, flyer here. 
Uh, Chicago electric tools, you don't see these very often, this, especially tools like this. If you're looking for the electric shears, now is this a fantastic tool? No, it, it, it's an okay little electric shear tool. 3.5 amp, 18 gauge, 30 bucks though. 30 bucks, I mean, you're not going to see deals like that very often. All right, we got the Bauer. I've talked about this one before. The, the 8 amp, this is a solid workhorse for a DIYer. Just a workhorse grinder. 30 bucks on this. Tell you what, I got to do... I'm going to redo the, as I said, I called it before, the cattle guard, the, the front bumper on my truck. And if you guys have seen it, th those of you who know, you know. Uh, but anyway, it's picked up a bunch of rust and stuff over the past couple of years. We get small pebbles because we're always on gravel roads, and they, they penetrate the paint, and they create little rust. And it's all like surface rust. So I'm going to grind the whole thing down and repaint it before winter hits. What grinder do you want me to test it with? Do you think I should use the cheap little one? Do you think I should use uh, the little Harbor Freight one? Do you think I should use something like this? I got a brushless Hercules. I got the brushless Flex. And I've got the brushless Cenex. Or I could pick up something else if you think. Which one do you think we should use to test with that? See how it does. Uh, Hallmaster one-ton manual chain hoist. If you need a chain hoist, 23% off. Hard to beat that one unless you, unless you just need something bigger. Something went wrong with that one. What happened here? What went wrong? Oh, there we go. Avanti handheld air sprayer, 37% off. 37% off. A lot of people have been asking about this. Looks like a Wagner. <laughs> Smells like a Wagner. Walks like a duck. Quacks like a duck. I, 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 yeah, I, 50 bucks. Heck yeah. Next up, we got the Pittsburgh manual tire changer here, $48. If you're serious about doing your own tires, Man, that's on you. I hope I, I'm lucky, brother. I got a tire shop down the way. I can just bring a tire and they'll, they'll pop it off for me. But if you got to do it yourself, I guess this is a way to do it. 48 bucks on this thing. 20% uh, off. It's a good deal on that. All right, let's keep going here. We've got the Pittsburgh Creeper here because Creepers be creeping. 250 pound. This is a nice little comfortable little Creeper here. 30 bucks, 33% off. That's a solid deal on that one. This is a great little kit here. Central Machinery, 6-liter ultrasonic parts cleaner here. This thing, it, it nice. it's got the stainless steel. It, it's got the, I think it's got the stainless steel insert as well, rather than all plastic kind of thing. This is a solid cleaner, all right? 6 liters, 40 bucks off. If you're looking for something like this, trust me, I've got this one right here. And I used a my buddy of mine picked one of these up. I used that. I'm like, oh, I should have I should have gotten this. I should have dropped the extra cash and gotten this one. Uh, the, in fact, I've, I think I've got the plastic one behind me up on the wall there. Uh, this, if I if I come across this, I might have to snag that one. All right, this this again is another staple for the shops that need it. If you do need it, every, everyone who knows, like this is you go around, you see any all sorts of shops, professional shops. Great, just watch YouTube, and if they've got a hydraulic press. Nine times out of ten, it's uh, one of these kind of presses. Sorry, uh, H frame is what I'm talking about. If you got one of those presses, nine times out of ten, you're gonna see it. It's gonna be the central machinery. Thirty dollars off. Considering you can't get the the coupons on central machinery anymore, this is a good way to go. Uh, I can't say enough about the the Hallmaster one thousand pound hydraulic. I love this. This is a go to. Again, another staple. If you don't need have this in your shop, you need it in your shop. Three hundred and thirty dollars. Uh, you can you can send gift cards and thank you cards and and fruit baskets and stuff to the address below the video. Uh, I I've said this one for years. Again, and in fact, if you're one of those folks who like finally like finally broke down on one of the the things I've said, like this is a staple and you need to have it, and they finally got it, and and you thought we got you a deal. You know, there's right below the video. You can actually do a little thing where you you click on it. You can do a donation. You don't have to. I'm just saying it's there. Uh, Pittsburgh two ton foldable uh, shop crane. I love the shop cranes. I love the fact they're foldable. Uh, the only thing I'm gonna say is before you buy this, check your local like Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace. There's always some dude. Probably you're gonna be the next one who was like, okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna pull an engine. I have to get a shop crane. They go out, they buy one, <clears throat> they do the project. They're done. They don't need the crane anymore. And they get rid of it. Well, that's a mistake. Okay, because these things fold up, they roll out of the way. You can use it for so many other things. Offloading stuff out of your truck, uh, moving table saws, other hot, heavy shop equipment. Uh, there's tons of things you can do with these things. Def but, I mean, it's it's not a great sale price on that. 30 bucks off. But before you buy one, check your your local Craigslist and Facebook marketplace. There always seems to be one, a great deal on one down there. Um <clears throat> Apache, if you need this, this case is a bit big and bulky for anything I do, but if you need one, oh my gosh, this is, 
at six, 70 bucks, that's a great deal. Sorry, I had just the hat there again. Bauer 18-inch roller tool bag. This is a fantastic bag here. $70 on that one. That's a decent deal. Not the best deal you can get, but it's a decent one. Modular toolbox. Now, the modular toolbox system here. <clears throat> so, full, full disclosure, Harbor Freight did send me one. I turned around and gave it to my son because, honestly, the little side locking tabs I found a bit aggravating. Uh, it's a decent DIY system. It's not bad. It's, it's a really solid system. It's really robust. It, 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 you can hit it with a, you know, with a sledgehammer and probably bounce right off. Uh, it, it's great. But I, you know what? There's other systems out there I like more. And this just does, I mean, it's got, it's got the base box, the middle, the top, the transparent parts bin. It's got the, the crate. It doesn't have the drawer systems. Uh, it, it doesn't have a lot of the stuff that I look for as for, beyond that and expandability. It's, but if you know what, if you live in an area where there's Harbor Freight and there's a Menards, it's the same system Menard sells. So you can just mix and match depending on whichever one's on sale that week. That might be a way to go with it. Anyway, 14% off, not a bad one here. Storehouse stacking bins. They're, they're, not, they're nice little bins. Uh, I don't know. It's not the system I would go with. Uh, the, although if you want to go look at this 40, that's the smaller bins there. There's the, I, I'm more of that kind of open parts bin kind of person myself. I don't know. What about you? Bauer 4 by 36 belt sander. Okay. Everybody in the brother has one of these, but everybody in the brother is also asking a lot more money than this right now. If you've been thinking about getting one of these, that's a buy it now kind of price jump all over that. All right. Next up, we got the Bauer again. A lot of people have this specifically when Harbor Freight and Wynn kind of been doing this back and forth kind of thing. 10 inch five speed dr drill press with light. This is a solid little drill press. It really is. We got, it got the, the, and not only does it have the light, I believe it's got the laser on it too, because there's the dual switches there. So you got the light and the laser. You got the table there. Uh, it, it's a solid little drill press. Now, it's not the 12 speed variable speed one. Uh, but it is a solid drill press, and 150 bucks is not a bad price. All right, let's keep going here. Central the cement mixer, aka brass tumbler. Just saying, 200 bucks, 70 dollars off. That's a solid price on that one. Too funny this came up because somebody just contacted me, going, "Hey Bear, what do you know about the Vulcan Outlaw 195?" He's like, "I've been looking to buy one, can't find one anywhere. They won't order them into the store. It's an in-store only item." Uh, it's on sale, 300 bucks off. Seems like a solid price or solid deal on this thing, but they, they're just kind of hard to find. I mean, look, it says back in back in stock soon at the Bozeman store, so they don't have one near me. I can't remember the last one I saw one at some time. I can't remember. I can talk. Last time I saw one in a store. Uh, let me know. Are they in your store? Are they around? Are they going away? I don't know what's going on with them. All right, this thing, I can't believe this thing's on sale. The Central Machinery Compactor. This is such a step above the old version. When they did, redid this, they redid it right. Six hundred and fifty bucks, fifty dollars off. That is, if you're looking, and I realize it's not everyone's looking for a compactor, but if you are, you are, and you know, you know, get it. All right, Vulcan helmet. I, I have this helmet. Harbor Freight sent it to me. I've tried a bunch of helmets. I love this helmet. This is my go-to helmet. Uh, the uh, 10, 10 10.1. Now, my son, I got another one. Yeah, uh, was it Yes What or, or somebody sent me one where it's got the side panels and the side panels are kind of cool, but I, I don't need to. I don't know when I'm welding, I'm welding. I don't do a ton of welding, but I don't need to be looking around either. Maybe I don't know for you guys. Do you need the side panels? Is that a big deal for you? 20 bucks off. That's not a great price though. That's just an okay kind of price. All right, now Harbor Freight's also started doing this thing where you like with with the Bauer, you buy these tools and you get this free. And same with Hercules. And th those deals have not changed. But I got two new ones for you. And this I, I mentioned this before. Buy a compressor, get an air tool free. Okay, now you have to buy one of the Fortress compressors. And they're all good, solid compressors. I, I can't recommend the Fortress line enough. And you get one of these chief air tools free at 160 bucks. Uh, it, it's, uh, and there, I think that's the minimum price on the air compressor there. And you can scroll down here and you can see if there's one of these things that you're looking for. The 27 gallon one, that's the one I run in my shop. Uh, the, uh, again, all these, the nicer ones here, uh, the, 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 the four gallon, the five gallon, the six gallon, the 10 gallon, all solid compressors again, and no wasted space in that middle. There's no like 20 gallon that only runs it. Yeah, no, these are solid compressors. And here's the air tools you get with it. Again, it's it it's really only best if you're stacking it with one of the compressors that's already on sale. But uh, it's nice to see them really, uh, you know, 
upping it, uh, the, the coupon game there and, and doing these kind of freebie the BOGOs like we see at other stores. Again, look at this. We got nailers. Buy either a Banks or a Central Pneumatic Nailers and get a box of framing nails free. Is it a huge deal? I don't know, 40, 50, 60 bucks. That's not bad. I don't, I don't mind that. I'm not going to be angry at him buying a nailer. I'm going to probably be buying the nails. <laughs> you get them free. That's a nice little combo right there. All right, let's keep going. Quinn, again, another one of the master sets here. Now, we've already seen, I think it was three master sets in sockets. Uh, we got the quarter inch, the, the three eighths, and, and the half inch. And now we're seeing the 87 piece bit socket. No filler in any of these. These are solid. Look, it's compared to Blue Point, man. They're they're going after somebody. They're hundred bucks on that. That is a fantastic set right there. Uh, you know, I've got a set of the. Uh, I think they're Tecton. Uh, oh no, Ingersoll Rand. I got the Ingersoll Rand. I thought I had Tecton ones also, but you know, I got a set of these. And, and look what happened to them here. Now it's probably not entirely their fault, but you can see. Whoops, you can see we got some rust on there. But it's just from traveling and stuff. And it got some moisture in there. Maybe I'll get a set of these and compare them and see if how they do. But uh, that's a that seems like a nice complete set there. All right, let's keep going. We got also all right now. These are the new tools. All right, so we're past the sales. These are the new stuff that's come out recently. The uh, four inch by thirty six inch belt and disc sander there, and it's listed at a hundred bucks there. That's the upgrade over the old green one that was always super anemic. I'd be interested to see what has changed about this because it doesn't look like much has changed the way of power. I think maybe they're, maybe they've upgraded it or something. I'll have to get my hands on one and, and do a comparison because the old green one was just super anemic. Hopefully they got better dust control on this. That was one of the other issues. This is the other thing. This was one of the grinders I've always said, avoid at all costs. Uh, I, I had a few people uh, write in and say, you know, I had one, never had any problems with it. But for the most part, everyone I, I've known who's held, had one of these, the older version where they had the yellow uh, grinder in it, it looked exactly the same, except it was yellow. And, and they all eventually fell apart into pieces. Maybe they've upgraded here. Maybe it's gotten better. 50 bucks. Maybe you're willing to try. Uh, let me know. If you do pick one of these up and use it for a while, let me know what you think of it. I'd love to get some feedback here on it. Next up, Viking. Look, at Viking is jumping into the game with the other jump stars. They're going after Top Don and everybody here. Only 1,000. 1,000 peak amp. Jump starter. Power bank. 90 bucks. We'll have to wait and see what the sale price on that's going to be. All right. Also, Armstrong. I got to talk about Armstrong. So I've uh, often, if somehow, for some reason over the past year, have run into situations. Like I went into the store one time and I was going to do some filming and my battery was almost dead on my phone. And I grabbed one of the power banks in store and I've grabbed cable. Like we're doing some traveling. I grabbed some cables and I needed a charger. And I grabbed one of these chargers, oh, usually while traveling or something like that. I've been fairly impressed with the quality. They, I mean, I'm not ready to say they're like, you know, uh, anchor level kind of qualities, but they're not bad. They're, they're not. So if you need one, I, I wouldn't hesitate to, if you're in store, just it's right there, go ahead and grab one, especially if it's on sale. Uh, and then we got the Bauer, uh, the new brushless, brushless cordless belt sander. So if you're in Bauer, more Bauer goodness. A lot of Bauer people got upset that Hercules got so much love earlier this year. And I'm like, come on, folks. You guys have been getting all the tools for years. It's time for Hercules to get some love. But here you go. We got some Bauer stuff here. 20 volt brushless cordless, three by 18 belt sander. Uh, it, you know, belt sander is one of those tools we don't talk about much anymore. You got to be light, light touch with them. All right. Remember less is more. You can always take off more wood. You can't take off more. You got to keep it flat. You don't want to dig in with that front or with the back and get those kind of divots in your wood. And it's really easy to take off too much wood. Uh, so just again, it's a learning curve. Maybe when, if you get one of these, you never used it before, get some scrap wood, learn the feel to it before you go all hog wild on your good finished piece of, of furniture or whatever it is you're working on. All right. Anyway, there you go. There you have it. That, that's the top deals, at least for the first half of October. Don't forget that the old uh, parking lot sale is around the corner. Go check out my video on that. I didn't cover any of the inside track deals because they're essentially the same as the ones. They, the, the, the old inside tracks carried through till the 5th. So the inside track hasn't updated yet. All right, so hopefully the new ones will be dropping here shortly. And as soon as they do, we'll get those for you as well. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.